Hello class. Um, we have in front of us Bellwether Garden Company by Garden Supply and what we're going to do with this demonstration is show how to create a journal entry. It is important to note that this demonstration is only showing you how to create a journal entry. With your packet that you'll have, you will be creating a new company, you will create a new customer, you will create a new vendor. With those type of transactions, you will also create the journal entry for loading beginning balances for your new company. In addition, you will create several transactions, one customer invoice, one payment of an invoice, and then you will be doing a vendor um, invoice and you will create a vendor um, payment. Um, you will also be doing a couple transactions with regard to um, a banking transaction, receiving a deposit, that sort of thing. So with, the, with this particular project, it's going to be an uh, issue of whether or not you try create this company and all the transactions in one process. I urge you to note that this system will not allow you to save anything. So I suggest, one, that you completely um, watch the videos for each one of the different modules that we are going to be working on. Watch them very carefully. Watch them over and over again. When you are familiar with the entire process, using your packet, I want you to enter the transactions from start to finish. Why do I suggest that? I suggest it because the process is going to be um, not lengthy, but you need to be focused on getting all the transactions in and generating the reports that we need in order for you to be graded. Because of the limitation of these items not being saved, if you, if you leave the program, it is important that you know what needs to be done and you follow the process from beginning to end. And then, once you generate your reports, then and only then do you actually um, can leave the program. So what we want to do first is, we've already created our company, and when, with the other transactions, we created our vendor and we created our customer. What we want to do now is load beginning balances. This, is, this will occur with every new accounting system that you take on, with some exceptions, meaning you can probably transfer information from one software to another, but generally, there are going to be some transactions you're going to have to manually enter. Beginning balances you'll have to manually enter. And this is going to be a beginning balance that's going to hit our general ledger. So what I'm going to show you how to do is create a journal entry. Again, we have the main dashboard. But with the main dashboard, we have some transactions that are um, shortcuts. But I want you to do it the long way because I think you just it, it will be very helpful. Maintaining will allow you to add, modify different types of transactions. Vendors, payroll, chart of accounts, etc. Task is where you actually do things. Sales invoice, um, select billings, etc. I don't really want you to use the um, task for that. I really want to just use it for the journal entry. So we're going to click on journal entry. And now I have started a beginning journal entry. It's going to be loading the beginning balances in the accounts. So we're going to start right there. And let's make sure we get this right. And again, I'm using the tab key to move in between. We're going to establish these beginning balances. And when we create our trial balance and we create our um, financial statements, they will be accurate. So now we're going to go into and enter our transactions. Inventory is going to be. I'm going to enter all of these transactions. It's pretty simple. We just want to make certain that all of our financial statements come out in balance. I'll keep going.
And as you can see here, I'm just when I just type in the number, it automatically comes up with the different types of accounts. And that's another quick way to, to get to the accounts that you need. One thing about this software, it will not allow you to leave this screen unless the entry balances. And it may force it to balance. So be careful when you enter these transactions in. You do not want to forget about that. Next step is going to be balancing out entry. And I think that's going to be see uh, payables two three four oh, sheesh. and again whenever I have to move in between um, different accounts all I use is my tab key if I want to move back I use my tab key and the shift bar and it allows me to move backwards and so this is the fun part Let's make sure our entry balances. Okay, we have our debits and our credits. If you look at the bottom of the screen, the debits and the, the debits equal the credits. And if you know, we have to make certain that our entry, we have a double-sided entry, so they both have to equal. And once that's done, we've verified our accounts, we verified our date, we can save the transaction, and we can now close. And this is the end of this particular transaction. We have now easily created our journal entry, loading all beginning balances. I would suggest that you review this, um, this demonstration again and again. It is not going to be the same with your packet, but it does give you the step-by-step, -step, and you basically will plug in the different number and the accounts that you'll need to load. Um, any questions at all, I suggest you post your question in the Q&A area within the discussion board. Um, but more than that, watch this, this particular video over and over again until you feel confident that you can create a journal entry in Peachtree Online. Um, I thank you very much for listening, and I'll talk to you later.